this is, as I always, as I say frequently in my life over and over again, I, I, when a person doesn't respond to a therapy the way I anticipate, that is not a moment that I discard the person or I walk away from it. I'm not focused on throughput as a physician, like how many people I've put through my door. I'm focused on the quality of the work that I do and understanding this is one of them. So I think this is a unique moment that I'm able to kind of illustrate what I believe healthy medicine is and good medicine is, is to be curious and understand the woman that you're seeing because, you know, there's a, there's a lot of you and this does happen. So the thing, it's the misinterpretation of this that does the harm, not the progesterone. Remember, in previous episodes, it's when progesterone gets pushed too hard down the 5-alpha reductase pathway for one type of reverse responding, where allopregnenolone spikes and it looks irregular to your your brain, and you know it may make some changes in the allopregnenolone. Excuse me, it may make the allopregnenolone makes changes in those GABA A receptors, and so do spikes in cortisol make those irregularities with the GABA receptor, where you have that paradoxical response. That's not progesterone. Sure, you have progesterone in your bloodstream. You have plenty of progesterone. Progesterone is doing what it's supposed to. You run the labs, there it is. But it's the downstream metabolite that we're, we need to be aware of that's doing this. So it's not the fact that you're taking the progesterone that's the problem. It's the misunderstanding of what progesterone is doing that is the problem. And then it's the understanding of the provider to how do I maintain progesterone serum levels helpful to her body and how do I modulate the downstream metabolites so it's not causing these side effects. Same like sulfation, where the person has sulfation, where they take the progesterone and it gets sequestered and sulfated into progesterone sulfate or pregnenolone sulfate. That's two pathways you can go down. It's not as bad as the 5-alpha reductase where you're going to have that paradoxical like anger and irritability and upset. You're still going to have these responses. But again, it's not the progesterone. The progesterone is there in your body doing what it should be doing. It's protecting breast tissue, lining the uterus, the cervix, ovaries, et cetera. Everything the estrogen is stimulating, progesterone is doing its job. It's just the neurotransmitter component we want to be aware of and the downstream metabolites to the brain and what it should be doing in, in the brain for the neurosteroid component.